G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jenny, and of course, oh, the wonderful Mr. Icarus. Now, in our last episode, in our last episode, well, 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 in the last couple of episodes, we're trying to make small carrier rockets. We've already knocked out quantum chips, done and dusted. We've already knocked out deuterium fuel rods, done and dusted. We just have to make the Dyson Sphere components. Now, Dyson Sphere components have three, three components, okay, because rockets are easy. We have frame material. Now, frame material recipe is not that complicated. It does take six seconds to craft. It's not a quick one, but it's really not that complicated. The catch is it requires a lot of nanotubes. Nanotubes require a lot of graphene. There is the alternate recipe, which requires a lot of spinniform. Spinniform is not easy to come by. Most commonly found on water worlds. Not an easy one to get, so I'm choosing not to use it, especially for rockets. I prefer to use that for science, but with that said, we spent last episode cranking out frame material, okay? That's all we did. Uh, well, we did get all the quantum chips done as well. I should add, you know, quantum chips are over here, they're done and dusted. And then we spent the second half of the episode doing, 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 well, a lot. Doing a lot of nanotubes uh, with a lot of graphene to make frame material. But that brings us to the next part of the Dyson Sphere component. Uh, the solar cells and also the processes. Now, the solar cells are interesting and the processes are interesting in. Solar cells require photon combiners. Now, photon combiners have circuit boards. If we go back to here and we go back to processes, they also require circuit boards. So I'd really like to make one circuit board build that supports both the, 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 the cells and the processes. On top of that, I made another interesting discovery. Sales also require graphene. We spent ages putting out a whole bunch of chem plants to convert convert fire ice into graphene. And I realized I was just six short. If I had six more machines in this build, I could actually crank out enough graphene to do all the nanotubes and have the excess come all the way down here to this little belt down here and have those do the sales, the sales, the sales which require the graphene. So that's where we're going to be starting today's episode with sales. Um, I do need to proliferate the sales on the way out. We'll worry about that later. Uh, so we're going to have, we're going to start at the end doing 13 machines, which are going to be doing the sales themselves. Okay, and I will have to, and this is why we're drafting out each one of these builds, I'll have to work out how to get these six machines into this build of 60. It's probably going to end up being, well, as it's now 66 machines, I'm probably going to extend them out and go with three rows of 22, because I had to extend out the nanotubes. Um... So we'll probably have it one less row wide, a little bit longer, and that'll probably get us our mix. Otherwise, it's going to be 68. I'm just going to add two on the end of each. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll work that out in post. Uh, so that is going to give us... Do I run it that way? Yeah, we're going to... We're going to run it that way, because this is one of our outputs. Okay, this is going to give us our sales. Sales. Nice and simple. We, we've got one out of two components for sales. Alright. Next up, we need the photon combiners. Now, photon combiners need two ingredients. Uh, we're going to bring in photon combiners. We're going to bring out photon combiners. Uh, they're going to go to there. We're going to mark the belt as photon combiners. That one. Uh, we're going to grab sprayers because I've been pretty thorough with the sprayers. I might have missed one or two. Uh, and we need... Oh, hang on. No. No, 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 bad jetty, bad jetty. Uh, really bad jetty. Yeah, hang on. Let's start again. Start again. Okay. Graphene belt. Okay. Sales. I need 21 machines for sales. Uh, so we're going to build 22, which is 3, 6, 9, 12, 11. Uh, like so. No. 
we're going to split them apart one extra time. Yes, okay. So you guys are going to be doing sales, okay? And I wouldn't mind having a little bit of extra sale production. But I think we're better off with just dedicated sale builds. Okay, so where are they going to bring this belt in here to do our graphing? Copy, paste, uh, which means that belt can go away. Then we're going to have a belt that comes down the middle to do our photon combiners. Uh, you, photon combiner, uh, then the sprayer. And then, of course, sails are going to come out in this direction, up, out of the way. Uh, that belt will go there to there to I don't care where. And that's too far away for me to mark it. Great, thanks. All right, uh, sails, sails, sails. Okay, so that's our sail belt, which technically we need to spray at some stage. Okay, so that's sails. Uh, next up, like I said, photon combiners. Photon combiners, I need 13 machines. So, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. And I'm going to change the recipe across to photon combiner and paste. Okay. With photo combiners planned out at least, uh, we're going to put that belt in there. All right. Photo combiners require two very, very simple ingredients. They require prisms and they require circuit boards. We're going to do the prisms first. Uh, prisms, super hard recipe. Uh, it involves glass and a little bit of assembly and that's about it. And let's go with there. Uh, seven machines. Seven machines will do all our prisms. We're going to assume... I'm not actually sure which belt you're going to end up on. But you're going to be doing, like I said, prisms. Okay? Prisms in and done. Alright? We're going to need to proliferate that belt, of course. And you guys just need glass. Okay? Glass is smelting. Smelting is something else I will do off camera. Um, funnily enough, we only need... We actually don't even need a lot of glass. It, 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 it's a really easy recipe to make sales. This is why sales are so cheap. You just you just launch them, okay? Not super expensive at all. But we also need to get circuit boards, okay? Circuit boards. I'm going to put... Mm, yeah, sure. Let's put it there. All right. Circuit boards. I need... Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, after one, two, three, four, five, that machine. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to create circuit boards. Except, I need a lot of circuit boards. Like an awful lot of circuit boards. Because we also need to, to make the Dyson Sphere components, also need to make processes, which require circuit boards. In fact, they need two circuit boards for every process. So I need to make a lot of circuit boards, which means I need more than a belt's worth of circuit boards. I actually need 36 per second, we'll call it 37 for round figures, which means I need to pile things. So after about five of them, they're gonna be doing, what's that? Uh, 18, 18. So if I pile them at this point, they should take up a space of nine in theory it doesn't quite work like that because they have to back up to to you know start piling so after we get to here we should have nine items on the belt after we get to the next five we should again have about nine items on the belt i uh, know we should have 18 so 18 plus 9 equals what's that 20 27 which should be less than the max i can fit on a belt and the only thing we're going to do to sort of help the process along is I'm going to put a second piler in, providing I can clip the right tile. Okay? This is far from ideal, but it should work. And at the moment, I'm going to go for working. Okay? What actually happens is we're drafting everything out now. And then if things don't work, if things change, as I put down the proper blueprints, okay, once they're made and worked out and the kinks have been ironed just a little bit then we'll talk about some of the minor changes that went along along the way okay which means uh we need a full belt of iron in no nope, we need more belt Psst, six thousand belt thanks uh, we need a full belt of iron in plus we need copper okay 
Now, uh, the iron, we only need a full belt's worth, even though we have more than a belt's worth of circuit boards coming out. Uh, where's copper? Copper. And this recipe is a one to one. Okay, for, so for every bit of iron coming in, you get one bit of circuit board, what, one circuit board out. The catch is because we're proliferating things step by step, we actually end up with, well, 29 bits of iron coming in and then 30 something circuit boards coming out uh 30 we've got 29 and a half iron coming in for nice round even figures and 36.87 circuit boards coming out for you know stupid numbers uh which is like i said more than we can fit on a belt so we should be fine as far as the iron's concerned the copper the copper if we take the copper here and okay so first off first off let's 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 go back a step uh, oh, you need a glass. Uh, glass goes there, which means I need to mark you as circuit boards. Uh, let's just get that belt thoroughly out of the way. Bring that in there. Put a proliferator there. Mark you as glass. Uh, mark you as prisms. Prisms, uh, which we can copy and paste. Grab our circuit boards, put them up there as well. Uh, put that there. Cool, done. Not quite. Uh, sales. We'll mark sales at this end and that end. That way we know they're in out. Okay, so prisms dead easy. Circuit boards done. Uh, that'll give us our photo combiner. Photo combiner plus the graphene that we made way, 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 way long ago as part of the previous build. Should give us our sales. Sales are done. Okay, nice and simple. But back to this problem. Our circuit boards, after they've got to here, I need processes. So production processes. Uh, let's just drag out a whole files worth, and we'll set you to be processes. And I actually need to take the circuit board belt from up here and bring it down to the processor belt. Uh, Yeah. Uh, okay, first off, you're too far forward. Uh, let's go with... I didn't seriously run out of assemblers, did I? No. So, okay. Uh, let's remove that. Let's just drag out 15. Let's just put the 16th one on there. I actually need 16 of them. Okay, so we need processes. I need uh, 32 of them. Well, 31, but you know, 32 for, for round figures and, and rounding sake. Uh, so they're gonna need those circuit boards. So circuit boards need to, after they've been come through here, they've been proliferated, they've run through the photon combiners, they need to come out here and they need to do the process themselves. On top of that, normally for the processors, we also need microcrystalline components. Microcrystalline components come off this copper line, normally, normally. Uh, and they still need to come off this copper line, except I need more than one belt's worth of copper. So I need to, and we're going to start doing this this way, I need more than one belt's worth of copper to come in here. So uh, we're going to copy our processor build. Uh, and then remove our processor build because I want to build the microcrystalline components first. All right, microcrystalline components. Another horrible, horrible build because I need 33 of them. That's 15. Uh, 16, 17. Where are we? Um, microcrystalline components to give me... Oh, hang on, when I say 32? No, 34. Okay. Uh, which require the copper, plus they require silicon. Now, silicon-wise, they're going to require, again, two belts. So... Best way to do this. Best way to do this. Uh, okay, best way to do this is move that over there, because you're literally a marker. You don't need to take up that much space. Uh, we'll put one of those there. We're going to bring in silicon, which we're going to run all the way up. Yes, okay. 
We're going to run all the way up and around the outside. We're going to bring out our micro crystalline components this way, this way. That way I get a chance to spray them. Uh, I'm going to put in that side of the build. Uh, we're going to spray you guys on the way out. Uh, actually, let's mark it back here somewhere. So you're going to be micro crystalline components, which is... Always can't find it. Okay, so then... Oh, and you are... Silly can, and like I said, I need two belts. Uh, I'm gonna put that over there so I don't lose it. Copy paste. Okay, so uh, two belts of silicon, two belts of copper, which then that's still the silicon belt, which is gonna stop there, and that's the copper belt, which again is gonna flow around the outside. Cool. So, uh, quick marker, copper ends up there, silicon ends up there. Alright, then, and like I said before, we can see that we've, we've definitely left extra spaces, which means I get to move things up the planet as we go. So, I then need the processor built, which we're going to bury this titanium, because it's just in my way for right this second. We'll probably unbury it later. Uh, and we're going to dump you there. Okay, uh, which means I can have all those materials back. Thank you, bots. All right. No idea where he's going. All right. So we're gonna bring this being the circuit board belt to here. Uh, move that. Nope. 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 That one and that one. Uh, and then, of course, the micro crystalline components will come down this side. And our output of circuit boards is. <sighs> Gotta love these numbers. Uh, I actually, no, I can't have you go over the border. Uh, that didn't connect. Okay, copy that, paste that there. Okay, uh, gotta love these numbers. It is 30.7 per second. So, uh, circuit boards go into, hang on, go away belt. Uh, they go into the next step. Okay, so we're going to bring that belt that way. Uh, bring that belt that way as well. Uh, we're going to have to chop you back, have you popped over. Uh, nope, we're going to have circuit boards pop over. Can I fit, a, can I fit a, a, a piler in there? No. Because it, it's it's more than a belt's worth. It's it's 30.7. So I need to pile potentially both of these belts. There we go. Get there eventually. Oh my gosh. Uh, mark you with processors and you with processors. And I still need to technically spray the processes. Uh, and that's going to give us our processor built. Okay, so after I've got all the way to that point, I then need to make the actual Dyson Sphere components themselves. Okay, so we have the frame material uh, all the way over here. We have the sails right here. And we have the processes down here. So then I need to make actually make that build, and that build is good question, Jedi. It is. Uh, oh no, actually, it, it's not. Mm, good one, Jedi. Right, how many of these do I put down? Oh, of course, the spacing has changed. Uh, Sixteen. Okay. It's 16 and they take two seconds to craft. Well, it's not two belts worth. It's one belts worth. Okay, cool. Now that's been sorted. All right, where was it? I was doing uh, this build. So this build is uh, going to be one of the final builds. Again, it takes eight seconds. It's super, super fast to craft. And I need 35 of them. So we're going to go with 36. So... Uh, good question. Um, 18? 18 of them. Uh, so, 
15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, we'll set you up to do that recipe. And because this requires three items, it's going to be two belts down the middle uh, to feed in resources, plus one belt that has to wrap all the way around, and then the output. So let's get that done. Let's get that done. Uh, logic dictates the sales can go in there. Uh, processes, and again, this is all a draft. I'm gonna neat things, neaten things up later. Uh, processes go there. That's been sprayed. That's been sprayed. Uh, the frame material, which is all the way over here, has not been sprayed, technically. Uh, and you're going to come over here. Uh, to that tile, yep. Pop you up and over. Back down to ground level. Over to there. Then, oh. One output belt. Uh, actually, you can go there, because that makes my life just slightly easier. Because that way I don't have to do any ovary, undery things. The, those two belts can just merge together. Okay, uh, so you're going to be destined to be components, and then of course we would have to spray that before it finally goes to the last step being the actual rockets themselves. Whoo! Okay, so for the actual rockets themselves, I need... Get this, get this. After all of this production, plus all of this production, okay, I need a grand total of... Where are we? Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, you guys are going to be doing that. We're just going to have three components. Uh, we are going to... We're going to, we're going to just place out the components for now. So I have a feeling this might have its own dedicated town. Because so far... Let's go back to there. Okay, so, so far, there are certain things that you you can use elsewhere in the base, okay? Dyson Sphere components, unfortunately useless. They only go into small carrier rockets. So waiting for the medium carrier rockets and the big carrier rockets, but for the moment, small carrier rockets, okay? So I don't want to put these into a tower. They're useless going into a tower, but uh, solar cells. Solar cells is a thing that if I have excess production, I might want to put into a tower. So somewhere around about here, before we go into this production line, I'm probably going to put in a tower, okay? Because belts, they feed into a tower and they feed directly out of a tower. If there's spare production and it buffers up in the tower, that's great. And it also means I can request the sounds out to fire off into space, okay? Uh, same goes for quantum chips. Quantum chips have a couple of uses. Assembler threes, artificial stars, vertical launch size, Although we have enough excess quantum chips that they'll probably never get called on. Never, ever. But it doesn't hurt to have them. Uh, obviously, the fuel, I'm definitely going to be putting into a tower. So, when it comes to this little build, uh, this one probably directly fed on a, in on a belt, uh, which we're going to move over a tile. Uh, and we'll actually mark you like so. Um, rocket fuel. Where the hell's the rocket fuel? That one. Definitely going to be brought in on a uh, on a ship or, or from a town. Okay. Uh, next one is going to be quantum chips. Uh, quantum chips. Quantum chips. Okay. Uh, that'll come in also on a tower. That is going to be your output, sir. And then I, I I lied. It's not eight. It's sixteen. Sixteen of them. That's all we need. Do two and a half rockets per second. Well. I'm actually making the rockets. It's all the other sub-components that make this build massive. Uh, one, two, three, four, plus juice. No, three. 
three, one, two, three, plus juice, plus morphers. Yes. Although it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, I'm going to, as I've done back on the home planet where we are making rockets, there's a tower there and a tower there. You, sir, will be doing those three items plus rocket storage. And you will have rocket storage as well. And I'll actually be shunting rockets out of one tower into the next tower to give me more storage because they now hold 20,000 each, which is plenty, but you know, more never hurts. I can always put warpers in the secondary tower that we're using as a buffer and force them back into the first tower. But with that said, I think that's everything built. At least planned, at least drafted. I think that's everything drafted out. Now, of course, I don't have any smelting yet. I haven't added any smelting. Uh, and there are certain things that, you know, multiple things have the same smelting. You know, obviously iron, copper, that's being used repeatedly. Um, over here, titanium, which has to be that belt, which some idiot didn't mark, not mentioning any names. Uh, titanium. Titanium is used for the carbon nanotubes, plus it's used over here uh, for the quantum, no, quantum chips, uh, the titanium, titanium crystal, Plus, it's used up here for titanium glass. So, oh, and, and speaking of iron and copper, like there's iron and copper up here for circuits again. So there's going to be a fair bit of doubling up. Now, the question is whether I have multiple little smelters that feed each one of these builds, or whether as we start placing them out, I can have one smelter that, you know, feeds all of this build plus the build beside it, which will be things that uh, we're all going to be t talking about and looking at in the next episode because I'm going to be calling this episode here because although these are all drafts, I need to give you guys a final copy, which means you're definitely going to have to come back in the next episode where we put down the final versions, probably with a whole lot of foundation thrown down first, and work out exactly how we're going to be building this and start pumping out two and a half rockets per second. Also, really going to hope that now that we've got to have fuel rods here, uh, that being the animated fuel rods, 2.3 gigawatts is enough to keep the lights on. Because there's a hell of a lot of production, and don't forget we're using Juice Mark 3 on everything, which uh, brings the energy consumption up by 150%, which is a lot. A lot, a lot. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Again, as always, if you enjoyed the fact that it's ad-free, please, please consider supporting the channel, becoming a member, saying thank you to the other members that you see down in the comment section. And don't forget this blueprint, when it's done, next episode will be available on Discord server, along with any other blueprints you've seen me use during this series. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.